Gould named the species in honour of Queen Victoria and sent the skin back to an artist in London who had to imagine what it must have looked like when the bird was alive. The finished drawing was to be reproduced by the recently invented process of lithography. First, a draftsman copied it onto a block of fine-grained limestone using a wax pencil. The ink to be used contains a lot of oil. The stone is wetted and then the ink rolled over it. Since the ink is oily, it sticks to the wax lines but not to the wet stone. The stone is fanned to dry off the water. A blank sheet of paper is laid carefully on the ink design. A thick layer of padding. And into the press it goes. The black and white print was then coloured by hand, with, once again, the original drawing as guide. The colours had to be built up in several stages, one at a time. Often, the work was done by whole teams of women, each painter having her own part of the design as her speciality. The rifle bird was just one of 681 plates in Gould's mammoth six-volume set of The Birds of Australia. He followed that with other huge works, including The Birds of New Guinea, in which some of his most famous plates appeared, including the first drawings of several species of that spectacular family, on which today Bill Cooper is such an expert, The Birds of Paradise. <laughs> 